Hello, everyone, and welcome to a game day show short here for Tiger <laughs> TV for LSU versus Alabama. Oh, yeah. My name is John Lombardi. With me is Taylor Kurt as we preview the Tigers and the Tide going to do battle in Tuscaloosa. Taylor and Tigers I will be tide. hitting the road Saturday morning, the long journey Early. to Tuscaloosa to cover the game, so make sure to follow at TigerTV.tv. But, Taylor, right now all the analyzing is pregame. Yeah. And LSU now number two in the playoff rankings. Alabama a surprising number four. Number four. Clemson and Ohio State hitting the bread on that sandwich at number one and number yeah. three, but just an interesting thing seeing LSU at number two ahead of Alabama in the rankings for the first well, time in a while. Yeah, actually the first time since the 2011 game, game when LSU century. went in there and won nine to six, I think LSU goes into the game ranked higher than Alabama and undefeated. So mm -hmm. it kind of has that feel, to be honest with you, being what's at stake for both teams. They're both in the conversation for the college football playoff. How do you, you know, a lot of people have been upset at the fact that Alabama was in put in at number four in the college football playoffs despite their loss to Ole Miss. How do you feel about the Crimson Tide's ranking? Well, I mean, that tells you that the, the people voting still know that the SEC is the best conference in the nation. And they see a one-loss SEC team and they say they're still good enough to make the playoffs. So I, I think Alabama deserves to be in there. I think they've, they've shown it. You know, the loss to Ole Miss um, it looked bad, but as Les Miles said last night, if you watch the film on Alabama, you know they're a good enough team to be in the, in the playoff. So the Pied Piper for LSU has been number seven, the sophomore Leonard Fournette. He's been the guy for the Tigers all year long, the leading Heisman contender. Yeah. He's going to be going into Tuscaloosa trying to lead the Tigers to a victory, but against the number one defensive, number one defense against the rush in the nation and a very stout Tide defensive team. What does Leonard Fournette have to do against that Tide defense and to, you know, to have a successful game? Well, that's what makes this game so much fun is that you got best the on top best. best on best, the top running back, the top defense. We actually get to see how good Leonard Fournette is and maybe how good the Alabama defense is. I think this is not only an important game for both teams, obviously, but Leonard Fournette, if he, if he wants to cement his name as, a, as the Heisman favorite, mm -hmm. come out and rush for 100 yards against Alabama, I think he does that, and especially if they win. On the other side of that coin, another Heisman hopeful, Derrick Henry, who runs the ball yeah. for the Tide, a very good running back for Alabama, kind of been at the heels of Leonard Fournette all season long. What does this game mean for him? And kind of it's running Fournette against the Tide defense, but it's Fournette against Henry on two sides. Yeah, of the ball well, I as think well. Fournette's been getting all the all the uh, the love, so I think Henry's probably thinking, you know, I'm gonna go out mm -hmm. there and show him what I can do. And obviously, he's an NFL running back as well, and Alabama always has that, you know, when we play him. Um, it's going to be a great matchup, but I think, to be honest with you, those two running backs will be good, but I think the X factor for both teams is how their quarterbacks will perform. Yep. Brandon Harris and Coker for Alabama. All right. That's a great segue, Taylor. We're going to go right into our keys to the game and predictions. Taylor, what's your key for the Crimson Tide to come out and upset LSU? What's your key for the Tigers to go into Tuscaloosa and beat the Tide for the first time in four years? Well, the keys for both teams are all, I, th I think they both center around Brandon Harris. For Alabama, it's make Brandon Harris make mistakes. You know, he hasn't. He doesn't have a blemish on his, uh, during his season so far. Make him make mistakes, put him in tough situations, make him beat you, okay? Um, for LSU, it's Brandon Harris just needs to play the game and control the game and do his best to not lose the game for mm -hmm. LSU. And that, those are my keys. I think something I saw online today is this the first time in a while that LSU has gone into this matchup with the better quarterback. Uh, maybe like the last two times LSU won the game, they didn't even have the best quarterback on the field. But LSU going in with a better quarterback than Alabama this year, I think the key to the game is going to be in the trenches. Can that LSU offensive yeah. line push around the Bama defensive line and make holes for Leonard Fournette and this LSU rushing attack so they can rush the ball and set up the pass that will make LSU successful. And I think a huge key for LSU is can they get those Alabama demons out of them? And late in the game, can LSU muster up enough strength and enough fortitude to finish off the Tide? We've seen two out of the last three years. LSU's had them on the ropes, not able to finish the job. I think the key to the game for LSU this year is to finish the job. All right, well, for Taylor Curret, I'm Johnny Lombardi. We're heading off to Tuscaloosa on Saturday morning. Reminder, go to TigerTV.tv to see all that Tiger TV sports has to do for the entire game day. Number two LSU at number four Alabama. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be fun. Have a great weekend, Tiger fans.